Joe and Laurie are a popular couple to discuss because a lot of people love the idea of something romantic between them and a lot of people hate that idea. And I have to say that I love them but it depends on how the story is represented either by the book or the movies. When Joe rejects Lori's proposal is the turning point in their relationship. So today I'll dive into how different are the stories after the proposal, how they impact the characters. I'm comparing the book, the 1994 movie and the 2019 movie. Of course, there's a major spoiler warning because I'll talk about everything. And we're going to start with the thing that started it all, the novel. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, published in 1868. This is a coming-of-age story of four sisters and their domestic struggles, but for sure I feel like this is a story about Joe. We see the perspectives from the four sisters, especially here in the novel, more than in the movies. But still, Joe's moments are the most impactful for the story, the relationship. Joe and Laurie are neighbors, and Joe always wanted to talk to him because she thought he was very lonely. When they finally talk, they seem very natural around each other. Both can talk openly about what they think without feeling judged. And all the time you can see that Joe treats Laurie as a friend. They are goofy around each other and when he is welcome to the family, Marmy also treats him like a son. It all seems so family-like, so it follows the idea of Joe wanting Laurie to be included to be around people his age. And she is right, Laurie is happier once he enters this dynamic. From Laurie's point of view, Joe is like a breath of fresh air. Her unique personality is fascinating to him. And the fact that they start spending more time together and he's included in her family makes a difference in Laurie's life. The proposal. Naturally, Laurie proposes to Joe, believing that it is the next right thing. Meg's marriage happened and then Joe's family and Laurie's grandfather were expecting them to get married. And Joe rejects him saying that they are not a good match as lovers. And of course she loved him, but not in a romantic way. In one part of the book, Joe even discusses that with her mom, and she's very certain about that decision. She doesn't doubt at all. Now, the time of the events is very important because it changes through these adaptations. In the book, Joe leaves for New York before the proposal. And yes, if you haven't read the book and only watched the two movies, that is kind of shocking. One of the main reasons why she goes away is because she starts realizing that Laurie falls in love with her and she wants to take herself out of the picture because she doesn't feel the same way. But also because she thinks that Beth is in love with Laurie, which is not the case. So Joe goes to New York and she meets Frederick there. They develop a beautiful relationship. Here in the book it's more developed. They are friends, they spend time together, they talk about writing. Frederick even teaches Joe a little bit of German. And an important part about this in the book, they part ways still being friends. Unlike in the two movies because their parting is a little hasty in both. So here in the book when Joe rejects Laurie, Laurie even mentions Frederick because he knows about him through Joe's letters. Laurie believes that Joe might be in love with Frederick and that's unconceivable to him. But to this point Joe is not aware of her feelings for Frederick yet. So she tells Laurie that they cannot get married because they are not a good match and that their personality simply won't suit a good marriage. And here Laurie is destroyed and very, very angry at Joe. He says that he doesn't even care about life anymore. So the expectation he had for his trip to Europe was crushed because all he wanted was Joe and clearly he wasn't expecting the rejection. The aftermath. When Joe and Frederick see each other again, it makes sense for them to be together. They are a great match because they have the same aspirations and ideas. And Laurie and Amy's relationship is good as well. Now that they were both adults, they find each other in Europe. They discover they have many things in common, and that is crucial to develop their relationship. Amy always sort of liked Laurie, but here in the book, up till that point, she thinks of him as a friend. And it is now at this point of her life that she sees him as more than a friend. The progression of Laurie's feelings from hating Joe, hating that she rejected him, now loving Amy too, then finally realizing that the love was a different kind of love. That was very well done here in the book. Then Joe and Laurie see each other again. Now with the news that Laurie and Amy got married. And Joe is genuinely happy. Both see that Joe was right about rejecting Laurie. And Laurie tells her that he would always love her as a sister. And now this love is requited because both feel the same way for each other. I think this really closes the cycle of their story and that's how the author wanted to present it. I think that's what she wanted to show on this relationship. The 1994 movie. The relationship. 
The story is basically the same in the early stages of their relationship. Lori is integrated to Joe's family. Their dynamic is the same as in the book, very goofy and playful. Here their meeting is more casual. We have the scene in which they dance and they instantly connect. Both find each other fascinating. Joe in a way to discuss topics that she liked and Lori as amusement to his boring life. There's even a scene where Amy and Joe are talking about Lori. Amy says that he is a boy and Joe instantly answers that he is no boy, he's just Lori. And also when they include him in their theatrical society, Joe says that they finally have a brother of their own. So it's pretty clear how Joe feels about him. The proposal. Lori proposes to Joe right after Nick's wedding, literally. And here he also has the intention to go to Europe and to go to Europe with Joe. An important thing that made me lose my mind here was the day kiss. So personally, I watched first the 2019 adaptation, then I read the book and then I watched this movie. That's why I was shocked when they kiss because that only happens in this movie. It is the adaptation that gave us a kiss and it was a good one. A great moment before the tragedy. Here Joe rejects him for the same reasons as in the book. She says they are both bad tempered and their personalities won't suit a good marriage. But here Joe also tells Laurie that she doesn't think that she will be a wife ever. And this is crucial because Laurie says that she will eventually be a wife and will love someone. And he says that he will watch. But here he never specifies anything. And in the book he clearly says that Joe will end up with Frederick because he already knows about him. So for Laurie in the book, Frederick was that potential other man. While here in the movie he only says that as a possibility. And the reason for this is because Joe doesn't go to New York before the proposal, like in the book. Actually, it is after this proposal and after knowing that Amy is the one going to Europe instead of Joe, that Joe decides to go to New York. She goes to New York and there she meets Frederick. And Joe and Frederick's relationship is good. In this movie, it's also pretty well developed, in my opinion. They do have a discussion about Joe's writing, but they don't part ways as hastily as in the 2019 adaptation. We see how they spend a lot of time together, they go to the opera, Joe even learns to enjoy drinking coffee, and they kiss, which doesn't happen in the novel. A lot more romance in this movie, huh? The aftermath. Lori goes to Europe and there he meets Amy, who is now a grown woman. And that's where their relationship continues its development. And I say continues because that's not the start of their relationship. Here Amy has a crush on Laurie since she's a kid and the movie always shows that there could be something romantic between them in the future. Especially with that scene of the carriage where Laurie promises Amy that he is going to kiss her. Amy is not certain to be with Laurie because she thinks that he is still in love with Joe. But eventually they both change, their perspectives change and they get married. In my opinion, here in this movie, there's not a good progression on that relationship. I don't see it as natural and right, like in the book. An important detail is that here, Laurie declares that he always knew that he wanted to be part of the March family. So, not specifically with Joe or with Amy, but part of their family. For Joe's part of the story, it's very similar from the book. When she sees Frederick again, she is certain that she loves him. And after their story in New York, I think this is good that they end up together. Their kiss under the umbrella is the scene that ends the movie. And that, again, shows how this movie is the most romantic take on the story out of the three. Joe writes a letter to Lori after Beth's death, saying that they need him as a family. And when they see each other again, they seem happy. Joe learns that Lori and Amy are husband and wife, and she is surprised but happy. And so that's how the two relationships, in my opinion, Joe and Fredericks and Laurie and Amy's are good. They have a solid conclusion and they make sense. I still have to say that I don't quite like Laurie and Amy together here. I prefer them in the book. The 2019 adaptation. Their relationship. Again, their backstory is pretty similar to both the book and the 1994 movie. Actually, this movie has a lot of references to the 1994 movie. Many similar scenes and I'd love to see that, especially one scene in which Laurie looks to the window and Joe is there. I think that's my favorite scene and I love how they recreate it in the 2019 adaptation. Here in this movie I think it's more obvious that Laurie is in love with Joe from the very beginning. I feel in the 1994 movie he at first admires her for her personality but here it's very obvious that he loves her. 
The nature of their relationship is the same. They are goofy and playful, but here you see that's more evident from Joe's side. I feel in the 1994 movie it is both sides at first that they are playful and goofy and then Laurie starts having feelings for her but here you see from the beginning it's only from Joe's side that she feels like Laurie is like her brother and generally in this adaptation is where I feel is more unrequited love I can see it here more than in the other versions of the story and in spite of that this movie is the less romantic out of the three the proposal. The proposal happens after Meg's wedding, but not literally like in the other movie. Also here, Joe already knows that Amy is the one going to Europe instead of her. And here the rejection to the proposal is a very heartbreaking scene. I think also the acting here is what takes the scene to the next level. I think it matches more the one in the book because that chapter from the book is so sad. The dialogues are very similar, if not, they are the same as in the book. Here Lori says that perhaps he would stay instead of going to Europe. So that is a completely different idea from the other two versions of the story. In the other two, Lori's plans were going to Europe with Joe. And Joe's reason to reject him is that she cannot love him in the same way that he loves her. And that their lives will be unhappy and that they would regret it. She also says that she won't ever marry because she loves her liberty too much. Lori says that she'll eventually find someone and love him and die for him because that's what she does. And that is so heartbreaking because Laurie also says the same thing as in the 1994 movie, that all of that would happen and he will only watch. That's where they part ways, Laurie being more sad than angry. And after this is that Joe goes to New York. That is the part of the story where she meets Frederick. But I have to say that in this movie, they present the two couples from the very beginning. As in this movie, we jump back and forth between past and present. The two relationships are presented from the very beginning, Joe and Frederick's and Laurie and Amy's. But still, I don't think that what they showed about Joe and Frederick's relationship was enough. It is decisively less relevant than in the other two versions. I feel we could have seen more, but we didn't. Here, Joe and Frederick never kiss in New York, like in the 1994 movie, and they don't part on good terms. Like, this is the worst, the worst terms in which they part. It is noticeable that Joe likes Frederick, but the romance between them is not very impactful here. Here, what I get more is always the unrequited love, the angst between Joe and Laurie. The aftermath. Laurie and Amy meet in Europe again and there they develop their relationship. I have to say that the way that the relationship develops here is good. We can see how they don't agree on many things, but at the same time we can see that they are a good match. And here it is very well known that Amy was in love with Laurie from the beginning. Even she tells him that in a very powerful scene. Sadly, no matter how well developed this relationship is, I never believed that Laurie wasn't in love with Joe anymore. So if I were Amy, I wouldn't have married Laurie. Especially because of this. We go back to the 1994 movie where Laurie tells Amy that he wanted to be part of the March family. Not specifically with any of them, just be part of their family. Here, that doesn't happen at all. And what I get from the development of Laurie's character is that he wanted to be with Joe not part of the March family. He wanted to marry Joe and thereby be part of the March family. Then the circumstances change, he found Amy and then he marries her. And also at the end where Frederick visits the March's home, Laurie is clearly jealous. I mean, you cannot tell me that that is not jealousy. Now the breaking point in this relationship is the letter. It's not a letter after Beth's dead like in the other movie, it is a love letter. Joe writes to Lori that she regrets rejecting him way too soon. She wonders about the possibility of having said yes. She even remembers him when they were younger and he was in love with her. And yes, this comes out of the feeling of loneliness that Joe has. But now I will compare it to the book. In the book, she also feels very lonely. And after thinking about people in her life, she starts thinking about Frederick, which makes sense. But here she thinks of Lori. And that gives the idea that she actually loved him as well. When Joe sees Laurie again, she clearly still has that feeling. And it is heartbreaking to her to know that Laurie married Amy. You could see that in her face and how much she tries to hide it. 
So that is why here in this version of Little Women, I think it made more sense for Laurie and Joe to be together. At the end, when Laurie says that he'll always love her, I think he means romantically. Not like in the book where he specified that he understood he loved her as a sister. John Frederick's ending was good, but still not as relevant. It doesn't make me completely happy, like in the book. But what I do like about this movie is that it is more a coming-of-age story, a family story, than a romance. In this version, the movie doesn't end with a kiss under the umbrella, although there's one. It ends with Jo feeling grateful, achieving one of her dreams, and being happy around her family. And that is wonderful. Now we come to my conclusion. From the book, I agree 100% with the couples, because they make so much sense. Jo and Lori not ending up together actually is good. And you can see that at the end, their friendship is as strong as it was before. Both are genuinely happy. And here, Lori and Amy's relationship was better than Joe and Frederick's. Their development and their married life, because we see more of them after they get married, both show what a great match they actually are. From the 1994 movie, I also like the couples. But here, I prefer Joe's relationship over Lori's. But I am okay on how things end for both. I just feel Lori and Amy's relationship was a little bit forced, but I really do like how Joe and Frederick's story developed slowly and it had a nice end. But my heart breaks with the 2019 movie. Because here, all I want is for Lori and Joe to be together. I get the development of the other couples, I think it's okay, but still, it's not for me. Here you get to see the angst, the regret, and mostly also the chemistry between the actors. Here I really suffer because I wanted them to be together, it was clear that they loved each other, and that's all I have to say. And that's it for my discussion about Little Women, specifically about Joe and Laurie, if they are a good match or not. Thank you for watching if you are still here, because I know this is a long video. This is my first attempt at doing a video essay, so I really hope you enjoyed. And now I have to ask you, what do you think about this? Do you think Laurie and Joe are a good match? You can tell me in the comments, let's have a discussion there. And also, if you have watched more adaptations of the novel, I would like to know if you recommend me some that are great, so I can dive more deeply into this relationship in more adaptations. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with friends. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I upload videos about movies, TV shows, and books. You can subscribe here, and you can watch more of my videos right here. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I just love Timothy Chalamet, and I would marry him even if he loves Saoirse Ronan forever.